Julius Caesar is commonly regarded as one of history's greatest military minds. The feats he accomplished in his career were truly astonishing. Caesar's conquests of Gaul were arguably the single greatest Roman military campaign ever conducted. It was during this conquest of Gaul that Caesar displayed to the world how brilliant the Roman tactics and engineering can truly be and show history how much of a badass he truly was. Ever since he lost the position of consul, Julius Caesar had been devising strategies to reclaim his position at the head of the Republic. He concluded that by conquering the barbarian inhabited lands of Gaul, he would garner enough influence, prestige and power to win over the Senate. It is important to note that at the time, Gaul had never been conquered by Rome and many Romans even believed that achieving such a feat was frankly impossible. However, in 68 BC, Caesar was going to show them just how wrong they really were. The Battle of Allegia took place in September 52 BC near the end of the Gaulic conquests. The Gaulic tribe's greatest leader, Vercingetorix, was in command of a numerically superior army which had positioned themselves inside the city walls of Allegia. The city itself had enough food to supply the men for some time as well as holding the high ground which made any potential siege much more dangerous. Vercingetorix's army inside the city was around 80,000 men strong which did in fact outnumber the Roman forces present on the field. To further this advantage, Vercingetorix sent out envoys to the remaining tribes in Gaul calling for urgent reinforcements. From the Roman perspective, they may not have had the numerical advantage, but they definitely had more disciplined and battle-hardened men, not to mention they were led by one of history's greatest ever generals. In order to besiege the city, he ordered the construction of a 16 km long wall around the entire city, cutting it off from the world. In only a month, these fortifications were completed. However, upon learning that the Gallic reinforcements were heading their way, he decided to be an absolute mad lad and ordered the construction of another wall 21 kilometers long around their position, essentially creating a ring around the city. That ring was the only thing protecting around 45,000 Romans from the angry Gauls. As time went by, the bodies of starving men, women and children filled the streets of the city as they were quickly losing strength. However, at this critical time, their call for reinforcements were finally answered and an army of more than 100,000 Gauls were all ready to lay down their lives to destroy the invader. Over the coming days, several attempts were made by the relief army to breach the walls. However, the Romans, notably using their German cavalry auxiliaries, had great success in defending the fortifications. On the day of the fiercest fighting, the Gauls had managed to occupy a large hill to the northwest of the city and proceeded to crash down on the walls across its entire length, placing Roman forces to the brink. To make matters worse, Vercingetorix led his force out of the city and attacked the inner wall. The Romans were cornered and defending on all sides. The Gauls eventually managed to breach the outer wall and it looked like the battle would be lost. However, Caesar personally rallied the few men he could to reinforce the breach and they were able to hold the line. Later on the Roman cavalry managed to break out of the encirclement and began to loop around to the breach. Eventually these cavalrymen charged down on the bulk of the Gallic forces inflicting devastating losses and causing a mass rout. After this defeat the remainder of the reinforcements fled the battlefield and the next day Vercingetorix surrendered. It only took a couple of months after the defeat of Vercingetorix that the rest of Gaul would fall. Specific casualties are disputed, however it can be said that roughly 13,000 Romans died whilst the majority of the Gallic forces perished. This battle enabled Caesar to successfully destroy any hope Gaul had it ever revolting and secure the entire area under the control of Rome.